What's going on YouTube? Week 5 NFL picks, you're going to get them from the cab right now because that's just how I am. It's the only chance I get a place to do it, plus I got company over at the house, so you got kids screaming fucking every five minutes. You can't go somewhere without being fucking called or screamed at. So anyways, I had to do it from here tonight, so, by the way, new iPhone 5. I got this fucking, what the fuck's it called? Life proof cover. It's supposed to protect from like, uh, fucking water, uh, snow, and dirt. I sure as fuck hope for fucking 60 bucks, whatever the fuck it was, I can't even remember. But anyways, so I got your football picks off this tonight. Yeah, let's see here. Anyway, so 9-6 last week, not too bad, but uh, hopefully do better this time. But anyway, so let's get to the picks. First game of the week, Cleveland Browns at home giving four to the Buffalo Bills. I like the Browns in this game. I'm going to tell you why. That fucking defense they got is incredible. Uh, Browns are back in this division because they got news for you. The fucking Steelers are atrocious. The Ravens suck. The Bengals' defense don't suck, but their offense is fucking horrible. Uh, so that being said, as of course Cleveland, Cleveland exposed them last week, Bills are heading in the right direction. No, I think this could go either way, but, but I just like the Cleveland Browns at home right now. I think the Cleveland Browns are reinvigorated with their new quarterback. Even though I don't think he might be the answer, but he's a hell of a lot better than Brandon Wheaton, as we're seeing. So, take the Browns with the four points. I think they'll cover and win the game outright. I think the Browns are um, for real right now, so I like the Browns at home. It's actually the only time I picked... Ah, it's the second time I picked the Browns this year. So, but they gave me good reason to. Uh, New England, on the road, giving three to Cincinnati. As long as Andy Dalton's starting, you can give the fucking Patriots 33 points. They're not going to win with fucking Andy Dalton. Bengals don't have it. You know what? This fucking hat's squeezing my head right now. Uh, plus, I don't like flat build hats. A friend gave it to me. Bengals don't have a fucking chance with Andy Dalton at quarterback. Get it through your heads. I I said it last year, the guy ain't the fucking answer. I said it coming into this year, the guy ain't the answer. No fucking quarterback, shit running game outside of Giovanni Bernard. And fucking, the defense is good. Keep us in some games. So if Josh Johnson's starting, I think we'll keep it close. If yeah, fucking Andy Dalton starting, New England will win this game fucking 38-10. to 10. That's just the facts. Bengals have no fucking offense with Andy Dalton. Like my old friend saying, you don't need when Andy Dalton's your quarterback, you don't need a defense, and that's true. Disagree with me all you want, but it's true. Unless Andy Dalton comes out of the gates and fucking proves me wrong here and starts really start playing some solid football, then I'll change my mind. But Patriots will cover and win this game with Dalton at quarterback. Fuck it, I can't stand that team right now. Green Bay at home giving seven to the Detroit Lions. I, I disagree with this a little bit. How the fuck do you give the Green Bay Packers seven points after fucking blowing a 20-point lead, whatever the fuck it was in the fourth quarter, to the fucking Bengals who have no offense with Andy Dalton? And the Lions are fucking playing good right now. But, however, the Packers are at home. Packers need a win. And 99 out of 100 times when the Packers need a win, they get it done. Detroit, I picked you a lot this year, but I think you're going to have a tough time going to Lambeau Field right now. If Detroit wins this game, I have no doubt whatsoever they'll probably take the division. So uh, take uh, the Packers to win, but I like the Detroit with the seven points, getting the seven points. Uh, Seattle giving three to Indianapolis. Very interesting game right here. Really good game. Uh, Seattle squeaked out a victory at Houston last week. Colts came off a decisive win against Jacksonville, but, but they came off a big victory at San Fran. I like the Colts in this game, believe it or not. Matter, I like the Colts outright to give Seattle their first loss. I like. The, I think the Colts are playing a really good ball right now. Seattle, I mean, I know everybody's... I, I'm not hating on Seattle. I think they're pretty good. But I just think on the road right now, the way the Colts are playing, they're in trouble. Take the uh, Colts to win the game outright. Miami giving three to the Baltimore Ravens. After Miami took a beating last week at New Orleans, you got to love the Dolphins at home on three points. Baltimore ain't shit. Them beating, them beating Houston was a fluke. So uh, take out the Dolphins to win this game outright. Uh, sh now this this is a fucking bullshit line here. Flat out bullshit. Chicago is at home giving one. Giving favored by one point against the New Orleans Saints. How the fuck do you favor the Chicago Bears over the New Orleans Saints right now the way the Saints are playing? I got news for you. Chicago is not as good as their fucking record, okay? Let's look at their wins. Cincinnati, they should have lost. I mean, but Cincinnati gave them that game. Minnesota should have fucking beat them. And uh, the only team they beat decisively so far is the old-ass Pittsburgh Steelers. As you're telling, I ain't saying much anymore. 
And they got exposed last week against the Lions. You know what? I'm sorry, Bears fans. I do not believe in the Chicago Bears. If the Bears win this game, then we'll talk. But I like the Saints. Come on, man. Chicago give one point to the Saints. is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Take the Saints with the points to win the game outright. I ran out of breath there. Um, Giants. Eagles, who gives a fuck? Honestly, both these teams are shit. Giants at home giving two and a half to the Philadelphia Eagles. <sighs> fuck the Giants, I don't know. I'm, them and Jacksonville are probably the worst fucking teams in the league right now. Um, honestly, if you go by points. But um, take the Giants with two and a half points. I think Eli Manning gets it done this week. I think Eli Manning fucking, even though I think the Giants suck, don't get me wrong, but I think the Eli Manning just gets it done and gets his team a first win here. I don't believe in the Eagles, I don't believe in Michael Vick, whatever. So take the Giants, who fuck cares about this game, really. Kansas City giving three to the Tennessee Titans. I don't know if Jake Locker's out or not. I know he got injured last week. Um, this is another great game right here. Now, at the beginning of the season, you would think this game sucks. This game's fucking good. This is actually probably one of the games of the week, along with fucking Seattle and Indianapolis. Um, Tennessee at home against Kansas City. Kansas City is a real deal, don't get me wrong. But if Jake Locker is starting, I like the Tennessee Titans. I believe in their defense. I think their defense is very underrated. I think the Titans in general are very underrated. Jake Locker's playing good ball. Titans at home. Sorry, Chiefs fans. I got to take the fucking Titans on the, at home right now. To, it's going to be a really close defensive game. I think the Titans win 13-10. to 10. I think it's going to be a really close game, but I just like the Titans at home right now. Titans are really underrated. I said that all year long so far. So take the uh, Titans to win the game outright. Either way, even if Jake Locker's out, I know I still like their defense. Well, if Jake Locker's out, that's going to make a difference, but their defense is still strong, so take Tennessee at home. St. Louis, now Jacksonville, This you know your team's bad when fucking St. Louis is getting 11.5 against your fucking team. Seriously, no disrespect Rams fans, but the Rams ain't that good. Uh, St. Louis giving 11.5 to Jacksonville. I like Jacksonville with the 11.5 points. I don't think St. Louis can be a team by 12 points right now. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. St. Louis will win this game, but I like Jacksonville to cover that 11.5 point spread. Giving St. Louis 11.5. I mean, this ain't fucking New England. This is St. Louis we're talking about here. Okay? Take uh, the Jacksonville to points. Rams win the game outright. Uh, Arizona giving 1.5 to Carolina. Well, I'll tell you what. Arizona ain't playing bad football right now. Now they're about an average team at best. Uh, Carolina coming off a of bye week. I like Carolina. I like Cam Newton to go in there and beat this team. I really do. I think Cam Newton's going to rock it out this week. Carolina is not as bad as their 1-2 record, people. I've said that all year. Carolina is not as bad as their record. you got to give them a little respect. They are getting a little respect, but I still like Carolina to go in there and beat the Cardinals. All right. Oh, my God. This is another fucking joke right here of a point spread. Denver on the road in Dallas giving 6.5. You give the Dallas Cowboys six and a half points against the number one fucking offense right now in the league. Peyton Manning's probably having the best year of his career right now, honestly. And you're giving the fucking Denver Broncos six and a half points. So Denver's giving, but still, six and a half points. This fucking team is averaging 40 points a game easily. The fucking De Broncos are going to roll the Cowboys. Seriously, the Cowboys suck. Seriously. Jerry Jones, it's time to fucking move on. Tony Romo is not the answer. You're about the only one left that does not believe that. Cowboy fans, no disrespect for you, but take the fucking Broncos. Broncos beat this team 44-17. to The Cowboys are fucking done. Fucking joke. Give the fucking number one offense six and a half points. This is Dallas we're talking about here. No disrespect, Cowboy fans. Everybody probably thinks I hate the Cowboys. I don't hate the Cowboys. My mom's a diehard Cowboys fan. I actually do have respect for the Cowboys, but I just know Tony Romo is not going to match points with fucking Denver right now. I'm sorry. If Dallas would win this fucking game, not only would I fucking eat my words forever, this would probably be one of the biggest upsets of the year. Take the Denver Broncos to roll the Cowboys. Seriously, fucking Cowboys. Please, six and a half points. Give them six and a half points. San Fran at home giving six and a half to the Houston Texans. Guess what, Houston? It's over. Your season's over. San Fran's going to win this game. Everybody th overhypes the fucking Texans. I tell you, if they don't play a fucking offensive with Cincinnati Bengals team, they can't beat nobody. That's been proven. Take the fucking Niners. I'm not a hater on the Texans. I admit the Bengals suck. They have no offense. Even when they win, I still am pissed at them pissed about just thinking about that team. Take the San Francisco with the six and a half points to cover. Now, San Fran's playing like shit too recently, but I think this 
the fucking Texans. Come on. Matt Schaub, seriously, he's probably one of the most overrated quarterbacks in the league. Hate all you want. Type, type, type. He's one of the most overrated quarterbacks in the league. Take a fucking San Fran to beat this team. We got two Sunday night games because one of the games actually got moved. This is a game, uh, yeah, I got moved. No, no wonder it got moved because no one's going to give a shit about it. San Diego giving six to Oakland. I mean, really, who cares? Who cares about that game? Take San Diego. They'll beat Oakland. Washington, or fucking Raiders can't even beat a fucking Washington Redskins team with no defense led by RG3. Fucking, he's not a pocket quarterback. The Raiders can't even fucking beat that team. So what makes you think they're going to beat the Chargers? Take the Chargers with the points. You know, I don't think the Chargers are the real deal. But take the Chargers to beat the Raiders right now. And the final game of the week, who fuck, another game who gives a fuck. Atlanta at home giving 8.5 to the New York Jets. You take the fucking Jets with the 8.5 points all day long. Atlanta needs this game bad. Atlanta was a fluke, people. The only fucking team Atlanta has beaten barely, barely, is the fucking St. Louis Rams, okay? Seriously, that's the only team they barely beat. Atlanta is in trouble right now. They need to win. That's the only reason. If Atlanta doesn't win this game, I probably won't take them for the rest of the season. But... Take uh, the Jets with the points, but I'll take a risk taking the Falcons to win because let's face the facts, Falcons need to win. Take the Falcons to win. There you have it. I was a little more energetic. I had a Red Bull, and it's fucking humid as shit in this car. And I have to do it with the windows up, otherwise everybody's going to look at me and think I'm a nut. So uh, there you go. And the bye weeks, Vikings, Steelers, Buccaneers, Redskins, <laughs> fucking all four teams. Who gives a shit about who gives a shit about all four of these teams? Both two teams are 0-4, and, and the other two are 1-3. and three. Who cares? So there you go. Week 5 picks, people. I'm really confident in my picks because I'm a confident person. So there's your picks. Had to do it from the cow tonight. I'm sorry. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.